Your navigation menu is how your customers know where to find your products. It's like the map to your store. And the menu options with the free Shopify themes like Dawn are actually pretty good, but there's one thing they lack, and that's the option to add photos. So today, we're adding images to our mega menus, drawer menus, and drop down menus. Before we start, thank you for watching this video. Many of our videos come from your ideas. So if you want to see your customization in the next video, subscribe and prompt us in the comments below. All right, let's add some images to our menus. So this is an updated version from the level four that we saw in our navigation menus at five difficulty levels video. Check that video out too, link in the description. And here's what's been updated. We've added multi-level drawer menus with images. We've added drop-down menus with images. We added a backdrop to darken our page when opening the mega menu. And with all of this, it adds some extra code. So we've streamlined the steps to keep this as simple as possible. All right, so let's start customizing. So we're gonna start with a fresh install of our Dawn theme, which we're gonna make these changes on. Um, but for you, just make sure that you duplicate your theme first so that if anything goes wrong, you can always revert back to your previous version. So um, let's first go into customization of the theme editor. And let's take a look at some of our menu options. So we have, uh, if you just click up here uh, or over on the left side header, you'll see that we have uh, three menu options. So it's drop down menu, mega menu, and drawer menu. Uh, and this is for your desktop menu. Uh, and if you're on mobile, then it says it's going to be optimized automatically. Uh, so if you actually check the mobile version, it's always going to be a drawer menu. Um, so if we come back to, so actually if we just choose like mega menu here, you can see it still stays as a drawer menu. Uh, but if we go to our desktop, uh, this is what the mega menu looks like. It, it, kind of spans the entire top section of your page. Uh, if you got a drop down, then it's a, a little bit smaller here. Uh, and if you have the drawer, then it uh, is similar to what we were seeing on the mobile version. Now, uh, the mega menu is the one that I think is uh, quite interesting. Um, so let's update our uh, menu items here. So you can go to online store navigation. Um, and then you can go to your uh, main menu, which will take you here. And let's uh, do something called shop all here. And let's just do a uh, all the collections. And what we're going to do is we're going to add um, a different layer. So right now you can see here clothing is layer one. And then there's all these different clothing types as a sort of second tier. We're going to drag this entire section so that we have now three levels or tiers of menu options. So we've got the shop wall at the highest level, and then underneath it, we've got the shoes and clothing. And then underneath each one of these, you've got some additional uh, collections. So let's save that. And then if we go back to our uh, theme editor and just do a refresh and reload, and we can take a quick look at what some of these different menu options look like with that extra level. So uh, we've got drop down. So let's take a look, right? So we've got um, we've got clothing and shoes, and then you can see here now we have some additional uh, options underneath it. If we do the mega menu, then we've got two columns now, whereas before it was just one. We now have these two columns, which represent the two uh, sub-levels underneath Shop All. So we've got clothing and all of its links, and shoes and all of its links. And that gets represented here in the Mega Menu. We also have the Drawer Menu, where we can see the three different levels. Uh, but that's essentially it. That's a, a quick primer on the three different menu types that is available in our Shopify themes. So let's come back out to our admin. And we're going to go to uh, look at our collections. So let's look at uh, the clothing collection, for example. In here, we can see that we can set some conditions um, and all the different products that are selected based on those conditions. And we also have an image right here, which is the featured image of the collection. So if we were to create a collections list, then it would look at this image right here. And this image is important because it's one of the sources that we're going to be looking for when we're adding these images into our navigation menu. 
but it's not going to be the only way because we may, for a couple different reasons, um, want to not have this image as our uh, navigation menu image. So the first reason might be because um, we're using collections lists and this image may not be the same one we want to add to our menu for stylistic reasons. The second reason is if we want to add a GIF to our navigation menu, then this uh, featured image here doesn't support that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a meta field in order to handle that. So let's do that right now. So we'll go to settings, custom data, collections, and then add definition. And we're going to call this header menu image. And so it's going to automatically create this namespace and key based on the name that we've chosen. Uh, and this namespace and key needs to be exactly this one right here. So custom dot header underscore menu underscore image, because the code that we're going to be adding later in this video is going to be referencing this exact uh, namespace and key. So, so keep this as it is. Uh, and then the type is going to be a file. Okay, and so we'll save. And now if we come back to our collection and scroll down to the bottom, you can see here there's a header menu image. So we can actually place, we can select the file and select any image that we want. So let's say in this case, um, I want to select this uh, animated image right here. So let's select that there. And so now I have a secondary image um, that's associated with this collection, right? So we've got one here, which is the featured image, and second is the meta field image. So we'll save that. So keep these two images in mind because they'll come into play when we've added the customization so that the images can be in the nav menu. Okay, so let's come back to our uh, theme editor and let's edit code. So there's a couple ways we can access the code. We can go here, edit code, or we can exit out. Um, we can leave page because we were just changing the menus earlier and we can edit code right here. So let's do that. So I'm gonna separate the code edits into two categories. The first is going to be the mega menu and the second is going to be the drawer menu and the drop-down menu. And the reason why we're doing this is because of how Shopify wrote the code. So let's start off by opening up the header.liquid file. So this code here is for the header section, right? And so if we go back to our theme editor, header section, uh, these are the settings that we have in here and how it's being controlled. Um, so what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be editing it. So let's come all the way to the bottom and you're gonna see here um, where it's, uh, it, it shows a section called schema, right? So this very last section is, uh, is schema. So we've got the start and end tag, right? End schema and everything in between there are all the settings that we're, we see on this menu right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some additional menu options. And these options are gonna be used with the menu changes we're going to be making. So what we're gonna be looking for is we're going to be looking for the settings that uh, control this desktop menu type, right? So um, there's going to, there should be something called desktop menu type in the settings. And then the next setting here is going to be sticky header. So we'll, we want to place it right in between. So we can see here, we actually found it. So the ID sticky header type. Um, and then up here is the menu type desktop and we've got drop down mega drawer. So we can kind of, see where the brackets start and end and we can create some spacing and we're just going to copy and paste our additional settings into here okay so we're just going to go ahead and save that next we're going to be creating a new file this file is going to be a snippet so we're going to add a new snippet and we're going to call this mega menu image custom Dot liquid. And we're just going to copy and paste the code and save. And then finally, we're going to open the header mega menu.liquid file. And we're going to look for a specific spot. So uh, if we come down here, we're going to first see there's going to be a header menu, uh, there's going to be details, there's going to be summary, and summary is going to end there. 
and then there's going to be another div. And then right between the div and this UL tag right here, we're going to create some space. And we're going to copy and paste the first part of our code. So what we have in this code is we have an if statement, which checks to see if the menu type is a mega menu, and also if we've turned on the setting for the images. If we have, then we're going to render the images based on the file that we just created. If not, it'll default to the standard Shopify method. And we need to still close off this, uh, this if statement. And so we're going to be scrolling down and we're looking for where header menu ends and we're going to come up. So there's details, uh, which is the, you know, going to be this one right here. And then we've got a div. And so we're just going to go right above there. And then we're going to paste our end if right here. The last edit we're going to do is we're going to go to the theme.liquid file. And we're going to scroll down until we see the body section right here. And so we're going to go right underneath the body. And we're going to add this line right here. And so this line is to add the backdrop, which darkens the page when we open the mega menu. And this is going to be set as an option, so you can turn it on or off if you want it or you don't. But you'll see what I mean when we're playing with the settings for the mega menu. OK, so now that we have that, we can save. And let's jump into our theme editor. So now that we've refreshed, you can see that there's some additional menu options that wasn't there before. Uh, and since the changes we made only apply to the mega menu. Let's switch over to the mega menu and we can take a look at what this looks like, right? So our mega menu is still the same. Uh, but now if we change the menu collection image type to either featured or meta field, we're going to see some images. So let's change it to featured. And when we open it up, you can see here we've got our collection featured image and our shoes featured image, right? So that's this image right here. And if we go to the meta field, then we can see now we've got that animated image that we added in the meta field previously. Um, it doesn't show for shoes because we didn't actually do that yet. So if we come back out uh, and go to our shoes collection and then come to the bottom here and we can select any file we want. So let's say, uh, Let's say, let's just use a pair of socks because it's very obviously different than the shoes that we have up here. And let's just save. Let's actually save and then refresh. We can now see here that we've got our meta field images in our navigation menu. Um, there's a couple other things we can do. So we can actually hide the title here. So if we check that box, that title is no longer there. So in the case where we add it, titles to our images, so let's say, for example, um, if we take our clothing to the top menu, and save. So let's refresh again. So we've refreshed now, and we can see that the clothing menu with our different clothing submenus are underneath here. But there's no images because we haven't added the meta field in yet. So let's go back to featured so we can see those featured images there. right? And so we have all these titles in our images. So we can actually hide the other title. So then it just looks a little bit more clean with uh, and relying entirely on the images. And this last option that we have here is a backdrop to darken the rest of the page when the mega menu is open. So if this is unchecked, what you'll see is that when you open up the mega menu, that uh, the rest of the page remains the same. And maybe this isn't a problem when the background of your mega menu is fairly different from what's going on on the page. But let's say if we go to one of these collections and we open up the mega menu again, you can see that the mega menu background and the page background is actually the same color. And so what we can do is we can check that box there. So we're just going to save first, and we're going to toggle this back on and save again. And now if we open up our mega menu, you can see here that it now darkens the rest of the page, which creates a very clear visual difference between our 
mega menu and the rest of the page. And it goes away once we've closed our mega menu. Okay, so that's the mega menu. Let's move on to the drawer menu and the drop down menu. So we're back in our code editor and we're going to go to the header.liquid file. And we're going to add some new settings and we're just going to place it beneath uh, our mega menu settings. We'll just paste that inside and we'll hit save. And then next, we're going to create a new snippet. So we'll open up snippets, add a new snippet, and we're going to call this menu image custom dot liquid. We'll finish that. And we're just going to, again, copy and paste our code and save. And now we're going to open up the header drawer dot liquid file. OK, so here we're going to need to copy and paste uh, a code snippet in a couple different places. Uh, what we're doing is in our drawer menu, If so if you come back to our theme editor and go to the header, and let's open up the drawer, let's say. So in the drawer, you can see that there's these different titles, right? So it's the clothing, uh, then t-shirts, long sleeves. So these are all titles of collections. Um, and in the code, you can kind of see here link.title. Um, and when I highlight this, it highlights a couple of different spots as well. So the title shows up a few different times. And we're going to add an image next to the title. So for most of these, we're going to want to paste the code uh, right beneath this. And I'm going to take you through this because we need to be careful here. So I'm just going to copy and paste the first instance of our code. And I'm going to just create some space under this link title here. And I'm going to paste it in. For now, I'm not going to format it because I want, just want to visually be able to see where I've pasted code. So that's why I'm just leaving it here. Uh, when we're all done, we can just format the liquid so that uh, it makes it look all nice. Um, so we're going to paste it under link.title here for the first one. And then we're just going to look for other instances of the title. So this next instance we see here is uh, with a button class of menu drawer close button. And we're not actually going to add it underneath this instance uh, because this uh, close button link is actually, if we come here, this one right here. So this this back button. And when I tested it out, it just didn't look very good for it to be beside the back button. So we're actually going to skip this one right here. The next one is the child link dot title. Right? And so we're going to just create some space. And we're going to paste that in. Uh, but in this case, we have to update the link to child link because that's actually the, the object that uh, we want to pass into our code here. And just a reminder, this menu image custom, this is what we just created earlier. OK, so we've created that. I'm going to now move on. So we're going to look for the next instance here. Right. Again, this is a menu drawer menu item. So we're going to create some space. And we're going to paste our code into here. And again, this is a child link. So we want to update this to child link. Right. Um, OK, we're going to keep moving down. We see title here. This is a menu drawer close button. Right. So we don't want to update this one because, again, this is the back button. And then we've got another instance right here, grandchild link. So this time, instead of link, it will be grandchild link. And we'll just keep moving down. One last one, link.title. So this one we don't need to change because this one is also link. Uh, and that should be it. There's no more other instances. We can save our file. And then we're going to do a very similar thing with the drop down menu. So we'll call this, we'll look for the header drop down menu file. And in here, we're going to be updating the code similar to what we did with the drawer menu. So we're going to look for the title. And we're going to see that there's a few different instances here. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, but what we're only going to be updating is the, these middle three here, because the first one and the last one is going to be for uh, the links up in the navigation menu itself. And we don't actually want the images to show up there. We only want them to be in the items when we open up the drawer menu. So 
what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste our code. Make sure you grab the one for the drop-down menu. It's not the same as the drawer menu one, even though they look very similar. And we're going to copy and paste right here. And so just make sure that the if it's a child link, it matches. So just like what we did with the drawer. So OK, so we'll look for title again right here. And we're going to create some space. And we're going to paste that in. Again, child link matches. That's great. And then one more. This time, it's a grandchild link. So we need to update this to make sure it matches. One last change we need to make to the header dropdown menu.liquid file is um, we're going to come back to the top of the file. And we're going to look for this uh, UL here, uh, header menu list. Um, and it's going to be header submenu, list menu, list menu disclosure. Right after that, we're going to create a space. And we're going to add a class. It's going to be called list menu images. And we're just going to save. And then let's head over to the theme editor. And so now if we open up a drawer, it's still the default version, no images. But what we can do is we can come down here. We've got our new settings for the drop down and drawer menus. And it's a similar type of concept where we can change it to the image type that we want. So let's use the featured image. We open up a drawer, and we can see that we've got some featured images. If there are no featured images associated with that collection, so this is shop all, we can come back out and take a look at shop all. Um, actually, it's not even on here because it's the all collections. Uh, but essentially, if there's no image in the uh, that's been assigned in the featured image here, it just won't show the image. And we can go into a deeper menu. And we can see all of our uh, collections. And same thing here. We can go and look at our shoes. We can go into even the third tier uh, with the black shoes and white shoes. Um, similarly, we can go to the drop down menu. And if we open this up, there will be no images because we're on the default. But if we change this to featured, then we can open this up and we'll see all of our uh, collections with their images. And if we go over to the meta field, so we have to make sure to do the drop down menu image uh, meta field, then we're not going to see too many images because we actually haven't assigned them yet. Uh, so with the shoes, we did assign the meta field there. Um, with these ones, we haven't. So um, let's say choose the t shirt one and let's assign an image into our meta field for the t shirt. In fact, I'm going to select the uh, the animated one. We'll save. Um, let's save and refresh. OK, so there we go. We can actually see the animated image for t-shirts. And we can also just add images to all of our different collections as well. Um, same thing with the uh, drawer menu. If we select drawer and then use the meta field. Then when we open this up, we're going to see our uh, animated image in our drawer menu. So let's uh, change this back to the featured image. Um, and then, yeah, let's stay with the drawer. So we can save that. And let's just take a look at the website. So we'll refresh. And now we can see our drawer menu with all the images. And it's multi-level. Uh, we can change it to the mega menu. And we'll refresh. All right, so we can see our mega menu like this. And we can look at our drop down menu. And we'll refresh again. And there we go. So now with every different menu type drop down, mega menu, drawer menu we've added images. Uh, and we have two different ways you can add the images, with the featured image of the collection itself or with the meta field in that collection that supports animated images as well. So let's take a look at some of these other options we have here. So the first one we have is the drop-down menu width. So if we look at the drop-down menu, it's got a certain width to it. Before, it was maybe like this, with uh, looked a little bit tight, but we can actually uh, expand the width to your liking. So let's say if you have some longer titles, then it can fit in a little bit better. 
Next, we can update the image sizes. So this applies to both the drop down menu and the drawer menu. Um, so if we want this to be bigger or smaller, we can update the number of pixels. So let's say we want this bigger, then our images are going to be a little bigger, right? And so we can take a look at the drawer menu and we can see here that images are a little bit bigger. We make it smaller, then we've got some smaller images. So you can adjust that to your liking. And then finally, we've got these two options for the border. So let's first just enable the border. And you can see here, there's gonna be a border between the different menu items, right? So we've got a, a visual separation between each of these collections uh, and we can even change the color. So let's say um, this blue matches your theme. It doesn't really work for us, but let's, let's imagine that you have a blue theme and this blue is really good for it. You can create those lines uh, in your uh, in your drawer menu, and those same lines will exist in your dropdown. So let's move over to dropdown, and you can see there's those lines separating the different collections in your dropdown menu as well. So if we save that, and then just refresh our page, then we can see here we've got our blue lines separating our collections. But what if we want to have something in our navigation menu that isn't a collection? Let's say a product page or a just a contact us page or any other page at all, we can actually do that. So why don't we go back to our menus and let's just add a new menu and let's call this additional links and we can make this anything at random. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, and then let's add a product. So t-shirt. Okay, and then let's add in our contact us page. Okay, and then we're gonna make these two items underneath the additional links. And we'll save. And now if we refresh, we have our additional links showing up and we can see our t-shirt with the image and we can see our contact us page. Um, so the product has an image because we're using the featured image option. Collections and products have featured images, which is why both of those will show up, but um, all other object types don't have that, uh, which is why we have the meta field option. So let's change this to meta field. If we save this and we come back and refresh our page, we can see here now that the image is gone, uh, but that's because we haven't actually assigned any images to the meta field. Uh, if we go back to the clothing, you can see here that only the t-shirt has that. And that's because we didn't add the meta field images to our other collections here. Uh, but we already know about that. Uh, what we're gonna focus on right now is just the, the products and the pages. So how do we add in our meta fields? Well, um, we actually have to create the meta field for those objects, kind of the exact same way as we did for the collections. So let's go to settings. We'll go to custom data uh, and we can go to products and we can add definition. And we're going to call this header menu image. This is the exact same name as we gave it for the collection. So it has the exact same namespace and key. Um, and then we're gonna select the type and it's gonna be a file. Okay. And now we can save. Uh, and we're also going to do that for pages. So we'll add a definition. Header menu image. Again, custom.header underscore menu underscore image is our namespace and key. And we're going to make this a file. And save. And really, we could do this for any other type that you want to add to your navigation menu. Uh, but for now, those are the two that we're gonna focus on, so we'll just add it to those two. Okay, so if we come back out and we go to our products, we can look for our t-shirt. So the original t-shirt here. And we can scroll to the bottom. We've got our header, menu, image, meta field there. So we'll select the file um, and Let's say we're going to use uh, this image right here. 
Okay, so it's actually a bit of a different, it's a different t-shirt, so we can actually tell the difference. So it's got a little bit of a different background, right? You can see here um, that it's not a solid color like it is up here. So that way we can actually tell it's different. And then we're going to go to our online store pages, and we're going to go to our contact page. And we can see here there's one meta field uh, definition available and we can add a menu image. So we use this contact us image right here and save. And now that we've added the meta field images, we can refresh our page and those are showing up. And so this is how you can add images to other types of links in your navigation menu. It isn't just for collections. All right, so that's it for today. We've now added images to our mega menu, our drawer menu, our drop-down menus to give your site a navigation and upgrade. As always, if anything didn't make sense, just let me know in the comments below and I'll clear that up. And of course, if you want to see any customization, just add it in the comments below. That's it for today. I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next one.